So I'm currently filming on my Fujifilm X-Hedge2S um, and I've successfully downgraded the firmware from 7.0 to version 1.03 by making some minor tweaks to the actual firmware file using a hex editor on my Mac. It seemed uh, like it was really complicated but in actual fact it turned out to be really straightforward. You're simply tricking the camera to think that it's upgrading the software where in fact it's actually downgrading the software. Now I imagine that Fujifilm probably will release a patch to fix this to stop people from trying this because there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to just break their cameras and Fujifilm's going to have to have loads of cameras in to repair and sort out and then send back. The bottom line is Fujifilm need to sort out their firmware and fix their autofocus because it's absolutely atrocious in firmware 7.0. I filmed a video, a talking head video of myself today and uh, I don't use eye tracking at all usually I use just like a square on my face um, around here and it just tracks my face uh, usually quite well if I keep my face inside the box. Uh, I'm using the 16 to 50 linear motor lens so there should be no issue with the lens keeping up with the autofocus and today it was just atrocious it kept hunting back and forward i've never experienced this before now by downgrading to firmware 1.03 this is my first test so you're going to be able to see if the camera is hunting and the way you'll know that is if this background here keeps jumping back and forward so if the background is jumping back and forward then you know it's hunting so if i put my hand here it should be out of focus right regardless of how close it is to the to the uh, lens it should be out of focus my face should be in focus I'm currently using eye tracking on my right eye so it's this eye here uh, and it looks okay so this is going to be the first test to see if firmware version 1.03 is actually doing better than firmware version 7.0 now there's a couple of caveats with this the first one is that you won't be able to use the new Fujifilm X app um, because that's only compatible from version 4 or version 5 and onwards so you're going to lose that lose that you're also going to you lose sorry uh, Reala ace as a film simulation and you will also lose the red box around the screen to see if you're recording or not but to be honest those are just minor kind of uh, sacrifices that i was prepared to make uh, because i have paying clients and i can't have a camera that's constantly hunting all the time i'm just waiting for future film to sort their act out and release firmware version 8 or whatever they want to call it um, where their tracking autofocus is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing so i'm just going to do a little test now where i'm going to move the camera back and forward because that's where the real failing failing point is um, so hopefully i should still be in focus i want to make sure i stay beyond the minimum focus distance of the lens and my arms can only go out so far so hopefully i should be in focus Okay, and that concludes the test.